Since Russia began its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, there has been an increasing and unparalleled level of cooperation between the two nations, as evidenced by Iran's reportedly announced decision to deploy ballistic missiles to Russia. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Russia plans to supply 12 fighter jets to Tehran, Iranian official confirms. Russia received roughly 400 potent surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles from Iran recently, according to Rudders, which cited information from multiple unidentified sources. It was reported that a large number of the weapons were short-range tactical ballistic missiles, like the 300-700 km Zolfagar from the Fate 110 family. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Washington has not verified the report, which Iran has thus far refuted. The announcement of a new kind of bilateral military cooperation was made on January 24, 2024, by Iranian counterpart Rear Admiral Ali Akbar, Ahmadian of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards, Corps and Russian Security Council Secretary Nikolai Patrushev. Tehran's choice may have been influenced by the possibility that the missile shipments would indicate a qualitatively different degree of cooperation, as well as shifting dynamics in the Middle East. Iran has always been reluctant to give Russia ballistic missiles because it fears retaliation from both the United States and Europe. Up to October 2023, a UN RAN was concerned that when the arms ban on missile deliveries to it eased, the European members of the UN, the 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action would introduce the snapback mechanism, as decided by the Security Council. However, Iran can now lawfully provide the missiles, and approving these arms exports is entirely optional. European nations chose to keep restrictions on missile exports in place, but they were unable to use the universal UN fines. Iran's perspective has likewise been profoundly impacted by the Gaza War. Before October 7, 2023, the United States and Iran had reached a deal whereby Iran reduced the amount of highly enriched uranium. It was accumulating and freed five dual citizens of the United States in exchange for access to $6 billion in blocked oil profits and a softer implementation of oil sanctions by the United States. States, tensions between U.S. and forces backed by Iran have increased from Gaza to Syria, Iraq, and the Red Sea following the Hamas attacks and Israeli retaliation. This has made future U.S.-Iranian deals less likely. The issue of quid pro quos also arises. Moscow is in need of missiles as the war in Ukraine enters its third year, and it may be more willing to grant Iran's requests for advanced Russian weaponry. But there are also important features of the growing military collaboration between Russia and Iran. Iran has provided Russia with weaponry, artillery rounds, and even constructing a whole factory on Russian territory to produce Iranian-style drones. Tehran declared in November 2023 that it will receive Mi-28 attack, helicopters, and Russian Su-35 fighter fighters. Despite reports that the sale was finalized, it doesn't seem like it has happened yet. If verified, Iranian ballistic missile exports to Russia imply that Tehran will shortly get fighter aircraft, helicopters, and possibly even the S-400 missile defense system. Russia also launched an Iranian satellite into orbit in February 2024, indicating growing cooperation in the space sector. According to Iranian media, combat trainer Yak-130 aircraft have already arrived and are prepared for service. Additionally, Russia might start using the brand new Iranian Kamikaze drones, known as Shot 100 ones, which are being used deadly against American forces in the Middle East by militias supported by Iran. Searching military links between Iran and Russia are part of a larger partnership. For example, Tehran and the Russia-led Eurasian Economic Union completed a long-awaited free trade agreement in December 2023. The two also declared they were about to execute a significant bilateral agreement in the same month. This would probably take the place of the 2001 contract, which was initially set for 10 years and was repeatedly extended. The new agreement will last for 20 years and aim higher in terms of political, economic, and military cooperation. During a meeting of the Iran-Russia Joint Economic Commission in Tehran on February 28, 2024, 
Iranian oil minister, Javad Oji and Russian Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak signed 15 memorandum of agreement. Nevertheless, in 2023, bilateral commerce decreased by 17 to $5 billion in spite of these accords. Iran and Russia are unlikely to form an official partnership. The current collaboration is more flexible and allows both sides to be more adaptable in the global setting. Russia and Iran have never been big fans of formal alliances. They have been criticized by both for being a product of the Cold War that the West, as a whole, still embraces and promotes. Rather, a bilateral relations roadmap between the two nations is expected to be released, which will probably mention things like respecting each other's sovereignty, the need to advance a just multipolar world order, and the destructive and careless actions of the West. This might bear resemblance to the 25-year agreement Iran and China inked in March 2021. This did not materialize into a full-fledged alliance, and it has not resulted in significant increases in Chinese investment or trade with Iran too far. The pact between Iran and Russia may face comparable obstacles due to the additional restrictions imposed on the Iranian economy. Furthermore, Moscow is not prepared to support Iran on all significant matters. The two hold different opinions about Syria, the South Caucasus, and even the Red Sea, where the Houthis rebels, who are supported by Iran, have lately opened fire on Russian oil-carrying ships. In order to put more pressure on the United States in the Middle East, Russia needs stronger ties with Iran. Washington is also concerned that Moscow has changed its mind about Iran's nuclear program and is no longer against Iran gaining full nuclear capability. Tehran and Moscow are getting closer to forging a de facto united front against the United States from the Black Sea to the Persian Gulf, owing in part to the deployment of Iranian drones in Ukraine. Moscow views Ukraine as a stand-in state that Washington uses to hurt Russia. This forces Russia to see Iran as a tool for American retaliation. Iran, though, has its own cards to play. Tehran is aware of Russia's need for it, and it is unlikely that the Islamic Republic will consent to being drawn into a mess in the Middle East for the sake of Russia. Iran has no intention of going to war directly with the United States or Israel, which limits Moscow's ability to use Tehran as a significant diversion for the West. Longer-term possibilities for collaboration between Iran and Russia appear bright, nevertheless. Russia, which invaded Ukraine and was hit with sanctions, has been looking more and more to the Middle East and Asia. Iran likewise has an eastward gaze. Given the presence of hardliners in both Tehran and Moscow and the likelihood of ongoing conflict with the West, both cities believe that closer bilateral ties are necessary. According to Iranian media, Russia is planning to send fighter jets to Iran within the next week in response to what Moscow has said. As recent conflicts, Despite current tensions, Russian fighter jets will be supplied to Iran, according to reports in Iranian and Arab media. Sukhoi Su-35 was scheduled to arrive at Sheid Shira Air Force Base in Ismahan, according to Karen Al-Arabi Al-Jadid. The base was attacked on Friday, with an Israeli strike being blamed for the incident. Russia made the decision to act after failing to reply to an Iranian request that had been made for two years. According to the media story, Tehran would receive 12 35 jets, the first of which would arrive this week. However, in related news, neither the Russian Defense Ministry nor Iranian officials have acknowledged nor refuted this. Iranian and Western officials confirmed to the New York Times that its 300 air defense system was damaged in the strike on the Isfahan base. This Russian-made technology is essential for locating and eliminating air threats close to the nuclear site in the Natan. Ron examined satellite images that were made public yesterday. Benicia confirms these results, demonstrating serious harm to a highly advanced radar component of the system at the Shaki Shira 8 Iranian Air Force Base. Since 2022, U.S. fears over the deteriorating security ties between Russia and Iran have grown. CIA Director William Burns has voiced concerns about the ramifications of this alliance for our allies in the Middle East particularly in light of the ongoing war in Ukraine. Speaking on PBS, Israel notably mentioned that as part of this alliance, Tehran has given the Russian military access to Kaka's drones, and Moscow is looking at ways to repay the favor by supporting the Iranian government. 
The U.S. has expressed concern about Iran's growing closeness to Russia, pointing out that this relationship has made it easier for a large amount of military hardware and knowledge to enter Tran. There is increasing concern that Russia may supply Iran with air defense systems and helicopters, among other advanced military equipment. Furthermore, because of Western sanctions, Iranian pilots have been training in Russia to fly the cutting-edge 35 fighter jets, considering that Iran's present combat aircraft fleet is antiquated. Iran's aerial capabilities might be greatly improved by these contemporary Russian jets. Fared Parchis, an opposition journalist, this morning, on the social network X, formerly known as Twitter, outlet Iran International posted video from the Shahai Jira Air Force Base near Ivan. According to Paris, there is evident evidence of the destruction of air defense equipment in the before and after photographs of this base, which were allegedly the target of an Israeli attack. Just two days ago, a senior American official told ABC that the attack was carried out by fighter jets, most likely targeting an air defense radar that was crucial to the nuclear site's defenses. Potential targets include bunkers, aircraft hangars, and air defense systems that comprise both launchers and radars at the Shahid Shira Air Force Base, which is located adjacent to the city's international airport. This data is taken from an Alma Research Center paper. Other military facilities, such as an underground ballistic missile site northwest of the city, are also located in the Isfahan region. The targeted airbase is described by the Arabic weekly Al-Esh Sharkalat, based in London, as a crucial establishment that houses the Iranian Air Force's most advanced fighter jets. The article cites an intelligence services website affiliated with the Revolutionary Guards that designates the Shahid Baba Bay base as the center of the Iranian Air Force, which consists of 17 air facilities. The story also cites an American website that states that the Iranian Air Force maintains three fighter squadrons and two training squadrons at the base, which is northeast of Isfahan and equipped with F-7, F-14, and 24 aircraft. The installation is around 20 kilometers away from the main drone base in southeast Isfahan. The industrial zones connected to the Ministry of Defense and the Nuclear Research Corps. Additionally, it is situated roughly 155 miles from the Fordo facility, which is tucked up beneath the mountains close to Qam, 75 miles from the Nan Uranium Enrichment Complex, and 175 miles from the Iraq Heavy Water Facility. According to the New York Times, the current strike, which was blamed on Israel and took place on Thursday night, involved at least one missile that was fired from a fighter jet far outside of Israel's and Iran's borders and was not picked up by the Ayatollah's regime's air defense systems. Drones fired from Iran were also utilized in the operation. Russia is planning to dispatch attack helicopters and fighter jets to Iran's state. The action, according to the media, might deepen relations that the U.S. is already concerned about in a deal that would greatly strengthen Iran's air force. Russia has agreed to supply the country with attack helicopters and cutting-edge fighter jets. According to Iranian media, the U.S. is growing increasingly concerned about what it sees as increased defense cooperation between Moscow and Tran. Plans have been finalized for Russia to deliver an unspecified number of 35 fighter jets, Mi-28 attack helicopters, and Yakov Yak-130 jet trainers. The semi-official Tazo news agency reported on Tuesday citing Iran's deputy defense minister. A top White House official stated last week that the growing military partnership is not good for Ukraine or the Middle East region. Later on, Wednesday, the official state-run news agency of the Islamic Republic, Iran, confirmed the report. The contract, which Tazem reported would be Tehran's first fighter aircraft purchase since the 1990s, has not been officially confirmed by the Kremlin. Iram had previously declared that it had closed a deal to buy the Su-35, a multi-role fighter that has been operating in Ukraine. But Tehran was still seeking to purchase more military hardware from Moscow such as attack helicopters and combat training aircraft. John Kirby, a spokesman for the National Security Council at the White House, informed reporters that this was a component of the growing military collaboration between Iran and Russia, as Moscow has become more isolated on the international scene due to its unjustified war in Ukraine. He claimed that this enlarged defense cooperation is detrimental to K, the people living around Tehran and the global community. According to Kirby, Aon has previously given Russia guided aerial bombs, 
artillery ammunition, and drones, the most infamous of which is the shed laying munitions, which have been used to terrorize civilian infrastructure and cities in Ukraine. However, the U.S. is becoming increasingly worried that Terran might go above and beyond the help by arming the Russian war machine with ballistic missiles. In exchange for that assistance, Russia has been providing Terran with unparalleled defense assistance, encompassing air defense and missile electronics. In response to Iran's support for Russia's war in Ukraine, Kirby said, adding that Iran has already taken a number of steps, including implementing numerous U.S. sanctions designations and working with partners like the European Union to expand the scope of their sanctions authorities and their designations. In the end, Kirby said, Iran is seeking billions of dollars worth of military equipment to strengthen its own capabilities. According to Kirby, the Iron A observed that the Su-35s that are part of the purported agreement will strengthen Iran's armed forces and allay growing concerns that Russia was abusing Iran's military cooperation. According to the source, Moscow views the arrangement as significant since it would demonstrate its ability to obtain international military sales. Before the invasion of Ukraine, Moscow was the world's second largest arms exporter, only surpassed by the United States. In 2021, the Congressional Research Service reported that, up until that point, the Kremlin had supplied weapons to more than 45 nations, accounting for 20 of all sales worldwide. Of those sales, aircraft accounted for half. However, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine has caused a disruption in these sales. The Institute for the Study of War is a crucial part of the nation's defense infrastructure. According to an ink tank based in Washington, it might yet take months for the Russian planes to be transferred. Since late 2022, Iranian officials have stated frequently that they would soon get advanced aircraft from Russia, but they have not received anything. However, analysts wrote a review on Tuesday. Russia's military assistance to Iran coincides with efforts by the two nations to politically coordinate this. According to ISU's specialists, Iranian and Russian officials have been in constant communication with one another in recent weeks to discuss the current Israel-Hamas war and work together to promote a ceasefire. They produced reports on Iran for a number of Middle Eastern Milan groups, such as Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the House in Yemen, and several proxies in Iraq and Syria. Over the past two weeks, the U.S. has cautioned trans several times to prevent the situation from getting worse and turning into a regional war. Yet there have been numerous instances of gunfire directed towards U.S. forces in Syria and Iraq. In order to defend Iran from Israeli and U.S. strikes, Russia is thinking of giving it access to advanced fighter jets and air defense systems. The Washington Post claims that Moscow and Tehran's military collaboration has advanced to a new degree. Based on the information provided, Iran has agreed to deliver thousands of combat drones and missiles to Russia in 2022 to aid Moscow in its war against Ukraine, opening a hazardous new chapter in the two countries' relationship. The deeper connections facilitated agreements between Moscow and Tehran such as Russia's pledge to supply its friend with cutting-edge fighter aircraft and air defense systems, which Tehran might use to strengthen its defenses against any upcoming airstrike by the United States or Israel. The number of systems that have been supplied and put into service is unknown, but officials and analysts believe that Iran might become a far more dangerous foe with improved ability to shoot down planes and missiles, thanks to Russian technology. According to intelligence officials and arms experts, the arms deals, some of which have not been made public before, are a part of a larger collaboration that also involves the joint production of military drones in Russia, the sharing of jamming technology, and real-time assessments of weapons that are being used against NATO and in Ukraine. They claim that by working together, both nations stand to gain significantly and Iran's standing is raised from that of a minor ally to that of a strategic partner. Air Defense and Aircraft According to intelligence experts, Russia is moving forward with agreements made in secret to provide Iran with Su-35s, 
one of the country's most potent fighter bombers. But this could pose a challenge to Iran's Air Force's drastic modernization, which is primarily comprised of reconditioned American and Soviet aircraft built before to 1979. Additionally, Russia has promised to aid with the development of rockets to launch additional satellites into orbit and to offer technical support regarding Iran's spy satellites. The Su-35 has not been delivered, according to any available information. A U.S. and Middle East intelligence officer, who is aware of the agreement, speculates that Iran's delayed payment for the aircraft could be the cause of the delay. Regarding defense, Iran has been requesting from Russia the most recent anti-aircraft missile batteries for a long time in order to defend its military and nuclear installations against potential attacks by the U.S. or Israel. The United States and European states put pressure on Moscow to delay the supply of the weapon, but Duran negotiated an agreement in 2007 to purchase the Russians' 300 anti-aircraft system. The voluntary prohibition expired in 2016 and Iranian S-300s began to operate in 2019. Since then, Iran has attempted to obtain the more potent Russian S-400 system. However, it is unknown to the general public if Moscow has taken any concrete efforts to provide 400 batteries. Certain S-400 variations are outfitted with radars that can counter modern military aircraft stealth systems. U.S. and Israeli jets that occasionally operate in Syrian airspace face a potentially fatal threat from Russia's S-400 batteries, which it has stationed there to defend its military installations. Following the death of two Iranian generals in an Israeli bombing on the Iranian consulate in Damascus on April 1, Iran decided to deploy drones and missiles against Israel over the weekend. The Israel Defense Forces Chief of Staff, Lt. Gen. Hersi Halevi, declared on Monday that Iran's attack will be met with a response. The new Russian anti-aircraft missiles, which are being delivered to defend subterranean bases built out of rocky hillsides, would undoubtedly make Iranian airspace a more dangerous place, according to Ken Kasapoglu, a senior scholar at the Hudson Institute. Moscow's gain Intelligence authorities claim that Moscow gains from this cooperation as well. Late last year, Russia decided to purchase additional military hardware worth around $2 billion, including anti-drone defense systems, which have become a high priority for Russian generals in Ukraine. This is in addition to the thousands of drones that Russia had already bought from Iran. According to a recent intelligence assessment, Iran has separately agreed to sell Russia surface-to-surface -surface missiles for use against Ukraine, and the weapons should be sent soon. Officials state that intelligence services have not yet discovered any proof that the missiles have been delivered. Meanwhile, intelligence officials claim that the two nations are now working together to produce war drones. At first, Tehran sought to assist its partner in closing a gap in its military operation against Ukraine by providing drones to Russia. In the autumn of 2022, Russia, which possessed combat drones at the start of the conflict, started utilizing two varieties of shade drones manufactured in Iran. Russia started manufacturing Iranian Shade 136 drones at a plant in the Tatarstan city of Alabuga during the middle of the summer of 2023. Plans to build 6,000 drones by the summer of 2025 for use in strikes against Ukrainian soldiers, power plants, and other critical infrastructure are detailed in Russian papers that the Washington Post was able to get last year. That's all for today's video. On April 2, the Ukrainian military launched a drone attack on the Alabuga complex due to concerns over Russia's domestic manufacturing. China and Iran gave backing to Moscow during its invasion of Ukraine, and Beijing is still trading with them while Tehran is still delivering arms. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you all soon.